What's up everyone, Sam from Overland Rough Racks and welcome to another episode of What Are They Up To Now? Well, we're up to tents guys. James Baroud, Odyssey Tent, just came in last night. Couldn't wait to get it unwrapped. We're gonna cover a lot of key features today. There's some changes that they've made and I was thinking, how could they improve on something that what I thought was great already? Well, they did, so stay tuned. I'm gonna cover some features, some new benefits, new attachment points and a lot of cool stuff, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back and I wanna talk about some of the surface level changes of the new Odyssey tent. One of the noticeable ones is, is this new color. It's a metallic silver, uh, reflective of the light. The black one gets, tends to get a little bit hot. Um, so this is probably gonna help out with some of the heat. It's a cool color, uh, it's new for them. We decided to test it out, it's gonna match great with our rig. Uh, and one of the noticeable changes that, that I've seen right out the bat is this aerodynamics have changed. It's pretty cool. It's really, really nice and again, aerodynamic. And a lot of these ribs in here are for strength and that's why you'll see this in a lot of cars, you'll see it on roofs of trucks and likes of the tents as well. You're gonna see this ribbing in here for strength as well, but it also provides aerodynamics as well. Uh, as well. Big noticeable change, it's, now it's made out of a uh, molded PVC versus the fiberglass. So that's a big change. So from a durability standpoint, it's gonna be just as durable, and if not, maybe more durable, and it's gonna be a little bit lighter as well. So that's gonna help out. They've also put, have these new bars on here, and the new bars are pretty cool because you can put, they're like cargo bar connections, and they sell them at online at jamesbrew.com. And those bars you can put a surfboard rack on there, it could be a lar uh, cargo carrier, could be some more luggage. Uh, for me, I'm actually gonna put solar panels on there in some sort of box that fans out and I'll get a you know, great deal of solar and I'll run the wires down through. So again, first notable change, aerodynamics have changed. And mind you, this is an addition to the line and not in lieu of. So the evasion still exists out there. The Grand Raid still exists out there. They're changing some of the sizings, I believe it is. What's available in the States, you'd have to look online and see, but I believe it's gonna be uh, small, medium, and large. This is the medium and the large would be considered what was the XXL before. Uh, but we'll probably have to look into that a little further, but this is what's offered in the States now. And again, they're not changing the old line. They're just adding things to it. And as I said before, how do you improve something that I thought was pretty dynamic in the beginning? And they, they knocked it out of the park here. So noticeable changes again, aerodynamics, connection points. The material, I was just floored when I opened this tent. I just, I got it last night. I came back from San Diego and it was about eight o'clock and I knew it showed up. And so I couldn't wait to get here and open it up. So I got it unpacked, pulled it out, it was exciting. And I normally would unveil it all at once, but I didn't because I just, I just, I was flinging the boxes and I had to see it. So, but this material, and I believe it's used by uh, the likes of Mercedes and Audi, and it's the material that they use on the canvas on some of the, the sports cars for the, for the soft top. So extremely durable, uh, gonna handle the elements, hot, cold, wind, snow, rain. It's gonna handle it pretty well. It also serves as a blackout material. Now I gotta tell you, when I was in here, this thing zipped up. It is dark. I mean, it is blacked out. I see a little stream of light in the daytime because that's the lights coming through the zipper. But you imagine at night you want it blacked out, you like it really dark, that's it. Also helps it seals it for, for heat when there's the, you have a heater in there, likewise with an air conditioning system you might have in here, or rain. So they really hit the mark there. In the material, on, even on the inside, it's just it's dual layer material. Look at that, just absolutely beautiful. They picked out a great pattern here as well. They changed up the seams too as well. They really hit it hard on these seams here, how they locked everything in place. They have this new tab design for the Velcro so you can pull it shut on the inside so you can fully seal it. And it is just durable. It's very thick and heavy and it's really, really nice. So again, it serves a lot of good purpose here. It's real stylish, stylish looking here. They've got this little hood here and I believe that's for rain that runs off here as well. So that's super, uh, super cool. And that's a new feature as well. Uh, another big change, huge change is now the, how you close this is a little bit different now. The tent actually comes together now versus the old where it kind of lops over and has to fit and you have to slide it and hook in the front and hook in the back. Well, now you have a cleat at the bottom in the front. So when you pop the new strut out, you pop a little clip, it's ready to drop. You push it down, you push it in the cleat down in. And then now once it's locked in there, you come back here, you push down and they have new hooks as well. You just hook it here from the back. So that's a big change as well, along with how this, this meets down there. It's got a bushing on here for sealing it. It's got about a 45 degree chamfer on there. So when it closes down, it locks down and it kind of 
sits in place, locks down. Aerodynamic is pretty, pretty good with that. And again, that's a new look to this new Odyssey tent. And the other cool feature, which I'm gonna grab here, I have it here, is putting on the tunnel for the 270 Falcon awning, because it has the 270 has that entry point underneath the awning. So if it's raining out, you can stay dry and you have your walls and everything. You can actually stay dry, get into your tent without having to go to the other side. What's cool about it here is they have these extrusions on here and they have a little bump up here. And what that does is that's a little tube design here. You feed it in here, you literally lock it in there and look at that, it forces it right in. And look how easy that is to slide in there. Now before it was a little challenging because it, it was kind of binds a little bit. But with that, with that new type of design with that, it flows right in there. The guide helps it stay in place and look how quick that is in. So you race up the tent, you get up there, you slide it across, it's in. You put a, the Velcro on the, the bottom part of the awning and you're all set. And when you pull it out, you pull it like that, like that, and you're ready to go. So. All right, guys, and check this out. I'm on the other side of the tent. And now I'm going to point out some of the key features, but look at this guys, 360 degree view. You will not find a better, you know, uh, view on any rooftop tent in the market right now. It's just, it's awesome. I can't explain how just every time I talk about this, I smile because the level of quality and the detail that they've gone to step it up to the next level is just, it's beyond me. The, the other tent, Still 360, but they had some things going on here, some going on in the corner. The panels on the side were a little bit taller. Uh, so they really, they put these down a little bit. They got rid of all this stuff here. They changed the struts. They appear to be even stronger now. A little clicking system in there. So I'm gonna walk around here and I'm gonna point out some of the features from this side. So on the inside here, again, new struts in here. That's the only thing that's obstructing somewhat of your view. They have a new type of, of basket here, and this here is for luggage, blankets, could be cell phones, boots, whatever you want up there. And it's a little bit stronger because they have these ribs in here that go around it that helps keep it tight a little bit so it doesn't sag as much. And that's movable throughout. So if you want to slide it further this way because you want to access things or keep it that end, you can move that. They have these handy pouches here that are on Velcro. And you know, what those do is those will go for cell phones and what have you, just gear, could be lights, it could be for your flashlight, but they do have a flashlight holder up here. It's a click-in deal, which locks right in place. And then you can lock it in place there, pull out the flashlight. Flashlight has a few different settings, high, low, side light, so you can plug it up here and have light in there. You have also a red light, and you also have a red flashing light here, and I guess that's for safety as well. So that's the light. Uh, what else here? I think that's kind of it. The, the top is just beautiful. They ch they've done something different with the top too. They've really cleaned that up as well. And just even all the lining, the, the craftsmanship has just stepped up. Even there's an inner liner in there because it's a dual liner now. And that's great for installation for whether it's heat you're trying to hold in or if you have an air conditioning system to hold in some of that cool air as well. It's just super, super nice right there. Nice pattern to it. I believe that might be their own pattern. And again, just the level of detail and craftsmanship of how all these seams are put together is just phenomenal. And of course, the, the comfortable mattress is always there. And uh, that's the inside. So I'm gonna shut this thing down here real quick. And another feature what they have in here too, is if you undo this on the back, there's actually a window here as well. So if it's raining out or snowing, you wanna see it, you can actually undo the inner part here and you have a, a, a plastic window so you can still see out and not be blacked out as well. So uh, this handle here, I'm not exactly sure what it here is for other than probably just to pull that out, I'm, I'm guessing, but that's new. And again, the Velcro system now, from the outside, you press it down. It is absolutely phenomenal, holds great. James Rude logo everywhere. You can pull it off here, and then on the inside they have that tab as well that uh, helps you lock it in place. So, all right, guys. Well, yeah. Thanks again for uh, following us on another episode of What Are They Up To Now. This is kind of a semi shakedown video of what this tent really has to offer. There's a ton more because I want to see it in use, and that's the big thing is is that we can test it in here and talk about the cool features. There's a lot of them, guys. I haven't hit all of them yet, but I think it's important to get it into the element and then test it, open it, close it, use it, sleep in it, open, close, get the air flowing in there, just all the cool things. So we'll call this our kind of our half shake down video of the cool features of it. It's nice to do in the shop, you know, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So this is gonna be debuting on our rig at Overland Expo uh, on the 19th through the 21st in Flagstaff. Uh, we're in booth Q2 and three. I'm kind of right there in the middle of uh, 
James Baroud and Optima Batteries will be at both booths just showcasing our products. This will be on hand on the rig, and we're gonna do some testing once it's out, we're in the field. We wanna test it in the field, open it, close it, show the blackout, you know, just all the things we talked about just here, but actually on the rig and how simple it is to operate out there and put it to the paces and show you what it's really like. So I can't wait for that. This is a great new addition to our rig. I'm super excited to work with the Falcon 270 awning, the tunnel, and let's not forget, you know, that awning that we have is, is pretty spectacular too as well that works with this. On the other side, we have our shower as well. So we're gonna be doing something with that as well at Expo. So you'll see the full line there. And I wanna really reiterate something guys is that this is not replacing anything in the current line. This is an addition to, uh, I don't want to, anybody to think that they're not gonna carry the Grand Raid or the Evasion. They're still gonna be in play. Just another type tent with different you know, connection points, different things, different features, but this is a continuation of their line. All those other tents will be available out there at Overland West as well. Pick and choose what fits best for you. They have some sizing changes as well. So depending on your rack, depending on your truck, your vehicle, your Jeep, whatever you're using, I think they've got something for you. So stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you at Overland Expo in Flagstaff. Until then guys, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks.